now. NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. All right, at 1217, let's check in with Matt. Oh my goodness, beautiful afternoon. Yeah, please get out and enjoy today. It'll be some sun tomorrow, but about 20 degrees cooler than we're seeing today, so. We gotta enjoy it. We got lots of up and downs <laughs> in the next week, so we'll, enjoy, we'll take what we can get for sure. So, it's a really nice day out there now, of course, east of Lake Champlain. There's really not a cloud in the sky, but you see some puffier clouds starting to develop over portions of the Adirondacks, so Saranac Lake, just getting into Danamora, Messina, Malone right now. And what that tells me is there's actually instant stability in the atmosphere. So in the summertime, when you have a sunny day that heats up the ground and that leads to uh, summertime thunderstorms sometimes, especially if you've got a cold front. And that's exactly what we've got today. We've got a very strong cold front off to the west. Don't be surprised to hear a rumble of thunder later this evening as this front comes through with heavy snow squalls. Notice that change in wind direction behind it. Some very cold air with those clouds developing over those warmer lake waters, that indicates a very chilly Arctic air mass coming in, but it's very brief. So we have the intense squalls this evening, tough travel overnight, especially over 500 feet. The valley roads are going to be mostly wet just because temperatures will be near 50 today, and that sun is going to allow that blacktop to absorb a lot of heat. So a few icy spots in the lower elevations, but this is mainly an impact for those of you above 500 feet. Everybody's cold on Thursday, though, and that sets us up for a light wintry mix on Friday before we introduce the mild air in for the weekend. So future cast today shows the clear skies for now. Don't be fooled by the beauty of today. It gets up to near 50 later this afternoon. Notice the clouds and the snow showers already starting to develop by that time. They quickly push off to the east, so here's 830. You can see a pretty intense line of snow squalls cutting through Burlington, although I do think that with temperatures in the 40s and upper 30s, it is going to start off as rain again in the valley locations, changing to snow as that colder air off to our west comes in. So by midnight, it's just starting to clear the upper valley and into the northeast kingdom. Notice how those temperatures are crashing into the 20s by this time. So that's where we get that flash freeze potential. We're in the teens and lower 20s by Thursday morning, so it certainly doesn't get any better, especially those untreated surfaces and especially where you get the snow accumulation tonight. Thursday starts off with sunshine, but then the clouds sort of develop in the afternoon. We get the slight heating at the ground, but we've got a very cold air mass uh, above us and temperatures will be held to the 20s and 30s all day long. So it certainly won't feel anything like late March out there. Friday, again, a cold start probably a bright start as well. And then we get the clouds coming in for the afternoon. And then here comes that light wintry mix starting off as snow, probably changing quickly to rain sometime Friday afternoon and evening. And then it turns milder for the weekend. We could be talking about 50s by then. So a lot of up and down in the forecast ahead, but we'll get through this first cold front tonight, just bringing about a dusting to two inches of snow over most of northern New York, especially the higher elevations. Could be a jackpot of two to four right around the Mount Marcy area, Keene Valley around Jay, for example. Notice though, the big hole in the valley. So the lower elevations, not thinking too much snow accumulates. There could be a few icy spots, as I mentioned, but it's really once you hit the green mountains and go a little bit east, that's where we have two to four inches uh, likely in most of the Northeast Kingdom and even down through Montpelier and Waitsfield. So higher elevations east of the Green Mountains can expect some very slick travel. Skiers rejoice even down into the Southern Green Mountains. So uh, two to four inches likely for those higher elevations, but dropping off very quickly as you head into the upper valley. So everybody feels the chill regardless. 20s and 30s tomorrow, partly sunny skies. Plenty of clouds around. Then Friday, we're right back into the gloom and doom. Little wintry mix changing to rain on Saturday. 55 Saturday, back to 36 on Sunday.